Hey there, welcome back to the final part of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. I hope you found inspiration in our guest journey this week. Today, we'll leave you with some key takeaways and actionable insights that you can lean on. Now let's wrap up with some powerful lessons that can help guide you on your own path. Don't forget to tune in for a brand new guest next week on Monday. But for now, enjoy this week's. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already as well. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. To her, um, her passions, you know, um, be, just became a part of her life. And she just couldn't, she couldn't scratch that itch. She needed it. So she wouldn't sleep good. She would eat, but she wouldn't eat crazy amounts. It's just she just did not get a lot of rest. And you mentioned something when you said rest. You need sleep. You've got to take time to rest your body. Turn the TV off at night. Um, and just rest. And sometimes she would come home and just crash for a couple of hours because she'd be up to six in the morning doing different things. And she'd go to work wow. for a whole eight hours and come home, crash for a couple of hours. And she'll do the whole thing all over again, all over again. She'd do it regularly. Through the night. Through the night. She'll work. She'll work. I mean, that, that's not healthy. Yeah. So, you know, you, you, and just like me, you just can't stop a person from doing what their passions are. And, and, and I'm not saying I contributed to it, but I'm pretty sure that that was probably a cause of it. She just kind of worked, 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 worked. Um, mm. So she developed um, a sickness um, and had some difficulty. And she ultimately passed away from the complications of that sickness. And um, um, 2001 is when it started kind of going left. Um, where she um, started to have some difficulties, went to the doctor. Um, and all of it was, in many cases, just just rest. She just needed rest. Just needed rest. Just needed rest. And um, she, you know, she tried to get it, and it just kind of progressed. And, and we lost her um, June 23rd. It just kind of got out of control. So she, we went to a couple of stints. She had, um, um, she got chemotherapy. Um, and, uh, um, she got into remission and then it came back. And then when it came back, um, it was probably, you know, a point where she just, just couldn't take it anymore. Um, so with, uh, last year, uh, uh, that week she passed away, she was on her way to get chemotherapy and they told her that she couldn't get it because she was so weak. And um, she was just trying her best to just stay around. I remember having a conversation with her. The last thing she ever said to me was, sometimes life isn't fair. Sometimes life isn't fair. So she said that to me. And um, she progressed through it. And in the week of J June 23rd of 2023, um, she passed away. Rest in peace. She passed away. And um, the, the process of it, my daughter and I um, were with her. Um, holding her hand through the last breath. Um, of course, that puts you in a, a space where it's like, oh my gosh. But I'm 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 happy that I, I could be there with her um, to hold her hand. Uh, my daughter was there. She wasn't alone. All of her family was there. As much could get here as fast as they could. They were there. Um, she was a very very loved individual in her family they loved her she was the organizer she was the one that you know when they had family bowling she was the one that kept score <laughs> she was the one that cooked everything you know she was always active and doing it and doing that so you know she's well she's very well missed um and um the process of it to kind of get through it and i know some people that had a podcast uh interview the other day it was talking about uh mourning um, and how you get past it. And uh, for me, um, you take your time. You process it. it. You sit in it. Yep. You do not allow anybody to dictate to you how that looks to you. All right. So however long it takes, you take as long as you need. But at some point, you're going to have to shake yourself. Because at some point, you still have to live life. You know, you still have to process life and understand what that is for you now going forward. Um, unfortunately, that person is not going to come back. Mm 
So you have to, for me, it was okay for me to process through it and get through it because I didn't want to live my life in mourning. Mm -mm, don't want to live that. I still have to move and go through life and, and love again and, um, you know, do all of those things that I need to do for my life now without, unfortunately, her being here. So um, it took me a little minute to kind of get past it, but I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm fine. My daughter is fine. She's probably the strongest one. That that mm -hmm. little girl, she's going through to the U University of South Carolina. She's going through life and she's doing her very best. I had a conversation with her the other day. That's not like, you know, what dads want to hear, but uh, you, oh, no. you got to kind of, uh, I ain't going to put her business on the street like that, but you kind of have <laughs> to understand what that is. Um, I'll tell you this, it's, it's in these moments that you're looking and you're paying attention. And you're like, I'm grateful to be healed. I'm grateful to have a perspective that like I have, because it's in these moments where your health is going to help you process through it, whatever that health looks like. If you do not have health, mental health, mental stability, mental strength to understand what it's okay to do and you not be manipulated by what everybody else thinks. It's in those moments when you're healthy, where you can just be cool with the decisions that you make and you're cool with it. It's like, whatever, I don't care how you feel about it. It's just me. I got to deal with this. Be cool with you. Be cool with you. Be motivated by the thoughts that you have for yourself. Of course you get, you know, you know, random thoughts. Say yes to you. Say yes, that I'm not going to be bothered by what people say. When you do that, that to me, can that's the level of, consciousness where you'd be like, man, I'm cool. I'm all right. So mm. when you process through it, I did take time to just not want to be around anybody. Absolutely. I did. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I did. I didn't want to hear about anybody. I don't want to be, I don't even want anybody to tell me I'm sorry to hear that. I don't want to hear nothing of that. So I took the time and the liberty to sit in my house and not be bothered. So again, that's the process that I took. And that's the process that I'm, that I, I rightfully took because I believe sometimes you got to be arrogant about it. You know what I mean? Sometimes, oh, sometimes you got to be consciously arrogant that you're going to take it and you don't care about who's going to say what. And for me, that's what it was. Well, when you said you you said before about the shaking off moment, you have to stand up and shake it off. What? When? How long did it take you to stand up and shake it off? Do you think? Uh, it took me a, a couple of a couple of months. So she's passed away in in June of 2023. Um, let's just say I'm still shaking it off. Yeah. So it's not a process that's just going to kind of <laughs> one day is going to be there. No, 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 no. It's yeah, a process. Course, you know, you have 21 years worth of worth of life that you lived, of course. Yeah. But you have to take it by force. That, that's what the scripture says that we you know, take it when the violet take it by force. If you want your happiness, if you want your peace, you have to decide it and take it by at, at force. Whatever, however you decide to do it, you're going to take it. So for me, I'm taking it. I'm not going to allow what has happened, what was to try to decide what my future and my life is going to be like. Nope. I don't mm -mm, Nope. And and here's the thing. I'm not ignoring it. No, not ignore, I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to make that very, very clear. I'm not ignoring what's there. I'm just not going to allow it to be a part of my life. And I'm not going to allow it to just dictate what my life looks like going forward. I'm just not going to do it. So, um, mental health, leading your own way is just taking stuff by force. For me, I took it by force. And um so now I'm progressing. Um I'm, I'm I'm in a very prosperous relationship. Um I'm deciding to live life. I'm deciding to do these things that's going to help me progress through life. And that's just what it is for me. And for me, you gotta take it. You gotta decide mm -hmm. that. You do. Yeah. Well, we know how you connect. We know that yeah. what you're doing in terms of contribution to the world, and we know how you 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 cope, um, and we know how you you cook with because we've had the discussion around food. Mm -hmm. But what do you, if somebody else uh, who's listened to this has lost somebody that they love close to them? What are the individual personal things that you do that would maybe you do a few times a week or a, a daily mm -hmm. routine? Is there anything that you do? Mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, mindfulness, mm -hmm. for example, or whatever it may be. I mm -hmm. Is there something that you do that you stick to? to uh, help? One of the things that stick to me is I get out. Yeah. <laughs> I get out. Yeah. And so important. I, yeah. 
Another thing that I do is as soon as those thoughts starts to come to my head of of like it's, I'm about to have a season of just getting back into crazy thoughts, immediately cast them down. Mm. Immediately. And how do you do that? You cast them immediately. As soon as you start hearing them, don't ponder on them. Get up and move around. Do something. Yeah, just don't, yeah. don't stay stagnant. Don't stay in it. Don't just wrestle in it. Don't if this. No. No. If it's confusing, find some help. Get some therapy. I'm 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 an advocate for for therapy. Have a conversation with a close friend that has a perspective. Do not have people in your area in your life that are trying to figure it out for themselves. Do not ask them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hear me. Hear Kenny J. Do do not ask the people uh that please make sure you get wise counsel please make sure you're not listening to somebody that need healing themselves because what that's going to do is that's going to confuse you (laughs) Mm. please get into an area so all of these things are are things that i have done and still do to this day if you're connecting with a partner or another person make sure that that person understands what you what you have to deal with and they have issues themselves that you guys can come together with healed and you can kind of progress in the right direction do not subject yourself to people who are aren't healed or trying to figure it out for themselves because again that will become a cancer to that relationship please make sure, all of these things are things that I do people <laughs> So, mm. oh, and don't be afraid. Listen, I'm, I'm remove yourself. I have removed myself from situations that could have ca- could cause me something later on. Don't be afraid to do any of that. Lead your own yeah. way. Lead your own way. Lead your own way. You said it a lot today. I love it. I love hearing those words. Lead they mean way. so much to me. I love it. <laughs> yeah. You are the one guest that said those words Lead so many way. times. Yep. <laughs> well, all right. Well. We'll, we'll come towards the end. Um, yeah. But before we do end it, a couple of things, because I do want to finish on, it's been such a high conversation, even 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 the discussions of um, adversity have, have, have always, you've said it with such light on the edges mm. of the conversation. So it's been really, really um, breathtaking, really, to hear the way you portray it. Yeah. Um, but how I typically come towards the end, and I, I want to show a few more pictures, because um, when you actually, I'll do it now, because you mentioned the album, um, the song, yeah. the record, Love Is All We Need. And I didn't actually show it, but here mm-hmm. is a picture that I wanted to show yeah. earlier as well. If you're going to check any of his music out, please, please Love do is that. All we need. Yeah. And um, was this the, um, what, I'm, I'm a bit confused on the date. Is um, this one I've got here, July 10th? I know mm-hmm. that's not your one because that was 8th of March. Yeah, July 10th, I think, um, wasn't that when I dropped... The record. That's when I dropped the record. The um, Back to Rhythm and Love. Oh, okay. Ba- oh, it does say Back mm-hmm. to Rhythm. Yeah. I yeah was, okay. One. Yeah. I can see that now. It's just because it was a bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Rhythm and Love, Volume One. That's when I dropped the Back to Rhythm and Love, which is a, a, a about six songs. It's an EP. Um, easily consumed. It's 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 an easy listen. It's a perspective listen. It kind of keeps you into the love vibe and um there's a song on that record called um protect your heart which i wrote out of a conversation that i had with my daughter so oh. all of those are just a bunch of different songs it's a volume one volume two will be coming up you know at you know top of the first quarter next year yes. and um and i got a christmas stuff going on a bunch of different stuff so yeah that right there was back to rhythm and love volume one Beautiful. july 10th and you've 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 kind of answered one of the questions because one of my mm-hmm. questions. Well, we actually, you've already answered it because you, the documentary future plans. By the way, mm-hmm, future mm-hmm, plans documentary, mm-hmm, the album, mm-hmm, uh, the Christmas songs. Mm-hmm. Anything outside of that long term? Then I got the podcast coming up. So as oh, I'm, oh yes. <laughs> so I got that um, that I'm working on. That's all the new stuff that I'm kind of building in here is going to help me with that. Um, that's going to be the called. What's going to be about? It's going to be a, well. The, the title of it is going to be "Real Talk, Real Thought." It's just going to be a, a, a perspective into the different songs that we hear. I'm going to talk about um, and just shed some light on the essences of songs. Like uh, the first song that we're going to st- the, unpack is going to be "Protect Your Heart." 
So we're just going to get into the different writings and different songs and just give perspective. And hopefully it will help somebody get through whatever their process is. That's basically what it's going to be. Yeah, nice. Yep. Nice. Um, two questions then. Sure. If, well, you again, I, you actually already answered it, but the typical two, two questions I normally end with um, is if you could give somebody a piece of advice. Mm -hmm. You've already answered it by saying get outside, move and see. Yep the right yep. people to speak to. Yep. Um, before I ask you to do one other thing, which you already know, <laughs> <laughs> what is your purpose, Kenny? Uh, my, my purpose is to spread positivity and love throughout the world. Um, my perspective is going to speak out of my heart and my heart is going to speak love. And my purpose at this day, at this time, is to perpetuate love in the earth. Love it. Simple, yep. right down the middle, and it's yep. right to the point. Love yep. it. Um, I'm going to ask you to give us something on. Uh, uh -huh. Let's give them. Let's give them. Uh, you're a woman. You're it's a woman. one of my favorites. Uh, I do. I love it, and I love the beat. I love everything. Can you give us something <laughs> yeah. live on so the Hour Way? So, so um, this is for the women. I see your smiling face, girl, with your style and grace. Your spirit fills the room. It gives me chills when you enter in. You change the atmosphere. Your heart is so sincere. Your love is pure, my lady. Your heart is so much care. I see you smile and embrace it. Cause it looks so good on you. You're valuable, express it. Don't let another take it from you. Your heart is good, just love it. Your soul connects, never joke in. You're a woman. Woo! That's what it is. <laughs> that is what it is. Yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. So when I play it on the car, I'll be like, no, that's yeah. not the album. That's him on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny. Yeah, man. Uh, if there's anything we've missed, is there anything that we've missed that you think we should be saying to the audience? Well, I appreciate you, Andrew, and your podcast, oh. man. I appreciate it so much because it does shed light to the world. So I'm going to give a huge shout out to you, man. Thank you for getting me on. My PR people, uh, uh, Kick Up Your Hills with Kachino Hertz and Rachel, man. I appreciate you guys. Um, you know, Check out my website. Kenny J Wilkins or Kenny J Music dot com. Check out the Instagram Kenny Mu Kenny Kenny Wilkins. Check out Facebook Kenny J Wilkins. Check out TikTok Kenny J Wilkins to number seven. And just look out, man. Um, real talk, real thought. The the podcast is coming. I got music coming at the end of the year for Christmas. I got stuff coming at the top of the year. So I'm very busy. Documentary is coming up. I'm working, 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 just trying to help the world and yeah. through positivity and love. So that's all well, I gotta say. <laughs> I'll get all the links and I'll put them in the show notes. So yeah, anyone wants to sure. contact you and reach mm -hmm. out, you've got yeah. it there. And yeah. uh, thanks to Katrina who reached out to me uh, yeah. and, and put connected us. And I love, I don't even know how she found me. I just, I'm just, I'm just honored that I came across her screen. And wow, so that's awesome. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. She yeah. works hard for sure. For sure. She does. She just does. Yeah. I, I also <laughs> follow her now. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Kenny, um, such a pleasure to have you on the show. And mm. uh, it's a great journey you've been on. You spread so much light. And the way you say it and articulate is absolutely beautiful. I've learned Thank a lot you. from you today. Thank you. Um, thanks for giving, you know, two hours of your time with us. Um, and thanks for being a part of my journey, too. So I really yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And we family now, Andrew. You know what it is, man. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. <laughs> you'll, you'll get, like I said to all the other guests, you'll get sick of me. And you will. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. Beautiful. Uh, and right. to everybody who's listening, have a great week. Come back next week for another amazing guest um, with Leading Our Own Way. We'll, we'll see, you, see you soon. Salute. Bye for now. Take it easy. Thanks for listening and watching Leading Our Own Way. So we can stay together forever and share more incredible journeys, please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss next week's episode and what that amazing guest has to offer to the world. Please support Leading Our Own Way and we'll get you on next week's episode.